Hello, in this video demo, we will be going over setting up an event-based schedule. The, the event-based type that we will be using is if a file has been modified. An event-based schedule gives you the ability to run any already existing schedule, enabled or disabled, when an event occurs. The purpose of this tutorial will be to guide you through the process of setting up an event-based schedule. You can use this schedule on its own, are in addition to a regular time based schedule for a same report. To create an event based schedule, click on New Schedule and choose Event Based Schedule. From here, enter in your schedule name, which we're going to call Event Based. Schedule Location is the location of where you would want your report to save at. For our location, our report is located in Desktop, CRD Examples. For description, a description is used to help others identify exactly what the schedule is and what is expected to do. For keyword, enter some keywords which can be used later by smart folders to identify this schedule. Once this information has been entered, click on Next. You will then be taken to step 2, Conditions. Select whether the schedule will fire if any of your conditions are fulfilled, or if it should only fire when all the conditions are fulfilled. If you only have one condition, this section will be ignored. Click Add to define a new condition. Edit to edit an existing condition or delete to delete an existing condition. For add, we'll be selecting if file has been modified. From here, you choose the name of the condition. From here, you choose the name that you would like to call your condition. You can select if file has been modified equal to true or false. From here we're going to select True. File Details, you choose the location of your file. Once you have gathered this information, click on OK. You can then click on the next screen to continue on. Step 3 will take you to the report type. Select whether the event should execute an existing schedule, a new report, or none. In this demonstration, we're going to be selecting to execute an existing report. The existing report that I'm going to select is located in CRD Examples. CRD single schedule test. You will then be taken to the exception handling screen, which is step 5 in the schedule options. This screen lets you specify what should happen if there is an error running in the schedule. You can either choose an option such as, on error, retry executing schedule every X number of minutes and how many times you would like it to execute. You can also select a priority and use custom hours of operation. The hours of operation allows you to specify the hours between which the event will be allowed to trigger the schedule. Once this information has been inputted, click on Next. You will then be taken to the Custom Task screen. To find out more information about the Custom Task screen, please view our Custom Task video. To add a Custom Task, click on Add. In this demonstration, our Custom Task will be to send an email. To send an email, click on the plus button next to Internet and choose Send Email. 
from here enter the required information such as task name, the sender that you would like to send your address to, the subject and information. In the body of my email I have chosen the right file has been modified in the public folder. The public folder contains the document in which I selected if the file has been modified in my event based schedule. Once you have entered in this information click on OK and then click on Done. You then have the option to add another custom task, edit the task that you just selected, or delete the task. You can also import default task for CRD or export the task. Once this information has been entered, click on Next. From here you'll be taken to the execution flow. Select this option if you would like your schedule to run first that you've chosen and then your custom task or you can have your custom task run first and then the schedule. Once you have chosen the flow of your execution type, click on finish. This is how you set up an event-based schedule.